In this video, I'm going to compare StreamYard versus EVMux. We will compare both companies in terms of their pricing, features, customizations, and more. So by the end of this video, you're going to have a better understanding of which one is the best for you. And by the way, if you would like to sign up to either StreamYard or EVMux, make sure to use my link down in the description. And with that in mind, let's get right into it. Overview. Live streaming has become an integral part of our digital landscape, allowing individuals and businesses to connect with their audiences in real time. Two popular web-based live streaming platforms, EVMux and StreamYard, offer a range of features for hosting interviews, podcasts, events, and conferences. In this video, we'll delve into the differences between EVMux and StreamYard to help you decide which one suits your needs best. So what's the difference? Both EVMux and StreamYard serve the same purpose, facilitating live streaming. They provide web-based studios that connect to your social media accounts, allowing you to display your webcam, screen, and guest participants. Here are some common features. Webcam streaming, microphone support, screen sharing, and guest options. During a live stream, both platforms offer private chat capabilities and integrate comments from social media platforms. You can also invite guests to join your broadcasts. In EVMux, your social media accounts are referred to as broadcasting channels, and you need to connect at least one account to start your broadcast. StreamYard also requires you to connect at least one social media account to go live. Additionally, it supports a broader range of platforms including Twitter and Hopin available on premium plans compared to EVMux. Streaming platforms. EVMux supported platforms. Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Twitch. StreamYard supported platforms. Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and Hopin. StreamYard also offers support for custom RTMP, OBS, Wix, Vimeo, etc. tools on its premium plans, expanding your streaming options. Both platforms allow you to stream to multiple destinations simultaneously, but there are differences in terms of streaming quality and limitations. EVMux supports streaming to two destinations at once at 1080p quality, offers up to 30 hours of streaming per month with a limit of two hours per stream, and supports up to 12 free attendees. StreamYard supports streaming to one destination for free with full HD streaming available on its professional plan. Offers 20 hours of streaming per month with no limitations on stream length. Supports up to six free attendees. Customizations. Customization plays a crucial role in creating a unique and engaging live streaming experience. Here's how EVMux and StreamYard compare in terms of customization options. EVMux offers flexible customization with dynamic and professional scenes, allows you to choose themes and colors for banners, comments, and lower thirds, add a custom logo, include overlays, insert video clips, and add image and video backgrounds. StreamYard provides interface customization similar to EVMux's dynamic scenes, but the free plan has limitations. Customization options include brand color and theme for banners, custom logos, overlays, video clips, and virtual backgrounds. Analytics. Analytics help you track the performance of your live streams and engagement with your audience. Here's how EVMux and StreamYard handle analytics. EVMux displays the total broadcast time on dashboard, allowing you to track your streaming activity. While StreamYard does not record the broadcast time, it provides tools to boost engagement, such as highlighting comments from specific platforms, inviting audience members to join podcasts, and offering giveaways. Recording. Recording your live streams can be valuable for repurposing content or reviewing your broadcast. Here's how EVMux and StreamYard handle recording. EVMux recording is a premium feature available on paid plans. StreamYard allows recording even on the free plan with some limitations. You can record your stream locally without going live for up to two hours. Premium plans for both EVMux and StreamYard support both local and cloud recording. Background music. Background music can enhance the atmosphere of your live streams. Here's a comparison of the background music options offered by EVMux and StreamYard. EVMux provides six sound effects and 17 audio files for adding background music and supports the insertion of local audio files. StreamYard offers eight sound effects for background music, also supports the insertion of local audio files. Pricing. Pricing is a critical factor when choosing a live streaming platform. Here's a breakdown of the pricing plans for both EVMux and StreamYard. EVMux pricing, free plan, includes features like push to talk, virtual backgrounds, and highlighting comments. Offers five gigabytes of storage. Premium plans, basic $19 per month, billed annually, or $25 per month. Includes unlimited streaming, support for up to four platforms simultaneously, removal of branding, RTM support, recording, and 20 gigabytes of storage limit. The pro plan, $39, per month billed annually or $49 per month. Offers local recording, streaming on up to nine platforms and 50 gigabytes of storage and team collaboration features. 
StreamYard pricing, free plan, includes basic features with limitations. Paid plans, the basic one at $20 per month billed annually or $25 per month, offers unlimited streaming at local recording, remote StreamYard branding, supports 10 on-screen guests and two team members, and allows streaming on up to three platforms simultaneously. Professional, $39 per month billed annually or $49 per month, provides 12 backstage guests, four team members, support for eight platforms, multi-streaming, and live webinars with 200 150 viewer limit. Premium at $79 per month billed annually or $99 per month billed monthly supports eight simultaneous destinations, additional camera options, and full HD recording. So which one is best for you? Both EVMux and StreamYard offer a range of features for live streaming, but your choice depends on your specific needs and priorities. Here's a summary to help you decide. Choose EVMux if multi-streaming and HD streaming are your priorities, you require flexible scene customization options, you prefer a platform that tracks your total broadcast time, and you need a generous free plan with useful features. Choose StreamYard if you need to support a wide range of platforms including Twitter and Hopin, local recording and multi-streaming are essential to you, you want a user-friendly interface with customization options, consider paid plans for advanced customizations, and you prefer unlimited streaming with no limitations on stream length. Ultimately, the best choice between EVMux and StreamYard depends on your streaming goals and budget. Both platforms offer valuable features, so consider your specific requirements before making your decision. So, which one are you going to go for? StreamYard or EVMux? Let me know down in the comment section below. And don't forget that if you would like to sign up to either one of those companies, I'm going to have a direct link to their website down in the description of this video. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe.